No, in fact, I was not pleased to see this snow. Obviously, it didn't bother these mule deer much. But you know, after most of March being so sunny and warm, I just really didn't need this. But then again, this comes as absolutely no surprise, having grown up in southern Alberta. Warm weather in March just means we had warm weather in March. Springtime? Well, it looks like this. But we have passed the equinox. We have more sunlight every day than we do darkness. The ice on most of the bodies of water in southern Alberta has almost disappeared. And the birds, well, here they are. Canada geese, American widgeons, a couple of killdeers, and tundra swans. I love the tundra swans. Huge birds, gentle sounds. The birds that are heading back north are stretching their wings and getting ready to keep on going. This little cold snap uh, means nothing to them. The truly big flocks haven't arrived yet, but they're getting pretty close. And it won't be long until what little ice is left on the lakes and ponds is completely gone. You can hear it going at Keogh Lake. Wind pushing waves against the edge of the ice makes it sound like shattering glass. And I love how the sunlight reflects and refracts and shines its way through the ice piled up along the shore. Some of the ice is so clear that it actually picks up reflections of the sky. Keogh Lake Sapphires. It's all pretty ephemeral though. Between the wave action and the sun, this ice won't last long. Which will be good news for all these birds that are going to show up. Tundra swans will have plenty of places to swim. They won't have to walk across the ice, although they don't seem to mind it. The flocks of pintails and widgeons that are going to be passing through here pretty quickly, well, they'll have all kinds of room to swim. Yeah, it won't be long before more and more birds are here. Not just the ducks and the geese, but everything else. And this snow, well, we need the moisture. So yes, even though it might not always look like it, spring is undeniably here. And you can take this Meadowlark's word for it.